Hello everyone, uh, Stepan here with my round 8 game from the Split Chest Open. Uh, in round 8, uh, the one uh, went well, there were 9 rounds in the tournament, so one round before the last one. I faced an opponent about 250 points higher rated than I am, 2100, and uh, I could prepare for him. Finally, somebody strong enough, uh, uh, and I had a lot of games of his online to, to look at. So I prepared a lot. He played something I, I've never faced before and I reacted like a complete idiot, trying to keep to my opening principles, trying to enter the Semislav triangle of pawns and that cost me the game basically. I didn't follow my intuition, I knew what I was supposed to play to be equal and to try to equalize, but I forcibly wanted to enter my Semislav and he crushed me. And if I had to say uh, which game of mine uh, since I've started playing chess is my most embarrassing defeat, I would say, is, is this one, because I didn't blunder anything, I didn't make one single mistake, I just played uh, like a blind sheep trying to follow uh, the opening principles, which just didn't apply to the situation, and I, was, I wasn't flexible, I wasn't thinking, I wasn't following my own uh, thinking process, I tried to follow some rules which were imaginary, and you should always... Uh, well, look at the big picture during your, your games and don't blindly follow something you remember because that could cost you the game. So let's see. Uh, he opened with pawn to d4, d5, c4, c6, knight f3, knight to f6. Sorry for this. Uh, and here he played queen to c2. And uh, by the way, I'm going to run the engine analysis at the end of the video, as always, to see where I went wrong. But I. I know where I went wrong because I realized it uh, at move 10 or something. So here I have the opportunity to play the move bishop to g4, bishop to g5, sorry. And after bishop to g5, if knight to d, if knight to e5, then bishop to h5 is okay and I can play bishop to g6, getting my bishop outside of the pawn chain. I can also take on c4, which is a move I know, which is a move I've played, which is a move I've, I've familiarized myself with and Still, I decided to play the move e6, which it's just too passive in this position. It can be played, I can enter my own position, which I know how to play, but considering what he played afterwards, this move and the plan I played was a mistake. g3 here. Now, what I should do here is g6, bishop g7, castles. Uh, either d takes c or just c5, trying to break open the position. I played passively and like a coward with knight b to d7. Bishop g2, bishop to e7. A horrible plan. I, well, I agreed with my coach, with my friend, a FIDE master, uh, that trains me sometimes, that I was going to, uh, I wasn't going to play bishop g6 fianchetto positions uh, against uh, pawn to d4, c4, and I was going to always try and enter my semislav triangle and play the positions with the bishop on e7 or on d6, so I followed that in this game, even though I knew that bishop g7 would be a better idea. Castles, castles, knight b to d2, rook to e8, too passive. White surely has an advantage here because he has time to play e4. And now I have to take d takes, knight takes, knight takes, queen takes. Here I thought for about 20 minutes, trying to calculate all the variations. I really didn't like my knight on, on f6 and I didn't like the fact that he can play b3, bishop b2 and pressure me along this diagonal. So I, in the end I played bishop to f6. Uh, knight to e5. And now, uh, when I was calculating bishop to f6, uh, I decided to play the maneuver knight f8, knight to g6, which the engine will say whether it's sane at all. I don't believe it is. So knight to f8, bishop to e3, bishop to d7, rook f to d1, knight to g6, offering a trade which, well, I hoped he was going to take because this knight is a monster on e5 and I can never take it safely. You can see that I'm playing a, a piece down basically. Compare his bishop to mine and everything is clear in the position. He has time to play f4 here, queen to c7, rook a to c1, rook a to d8 and now b4. He is completely crushing me. He's better in the center, he's better on the king side, he's better on the queen side. He has a better knight, he has better bishops, his queen is more active, his rooks are more active, his pawn structure is better, his king is arguably equally safe as mine, but that's irrelevant in this position. So here I decided that I do have to do something 
I have to do something. So I gave up my bishop pair for the very strong knight. So bishop takes e5. D takes c5 and now b6 trying to prevent the move b5 or c5 and trying to put my to put my uh, bishop on a6, bishop c8, bishop a6 to get at least some activity. Rook to d4 here, which is a mistake, finally a mistake played uh, because now I get to play knight to e7, sufficiently defending my pawn here and now I'm threatening to, to grab his bishop. Here's dark, dark sword bishop and then to play c5 and then to play bishop to c6 after rook to c8 saving my position. So he was wasted one tempo with rook to d3 and this move, rook to d4, was I think his only mistake in the game. Uh, so I played bishop to c8, trying to play bishop to a6, rook c to d1 and now an absolutely horrible decision to exchange the rooks and give him the file. Uh, for some reason I thought he was going to recapture with the rook. So after I took, he took with the queen and I wanted to throw up so, because I just gave him another advantage in the position. I gave him the only open file, which, well, neither of us controlled previously. Bishop to a6, king to f2. Uh, and now I was calculating the move knight to d5, which looks nice, but doesn't really do anything. He can either play bishop to d2 or he can simply play a3 and after knight takes e3, king takes e3, I'm actually helping his king enter the position, so nothing major with that move. So after king to f2, I decided to play knight to f5, which I, the engine will say which, whether it's better or worse than knight to d5. He played queen to d7, of course, uh, using the fact that my back rank is weak, that my a7 pawn is hanging, that he can do whatever he wants in the position. So queen d7, rook takes d7, knight takes e3, queen takes e3, and now I'm just losing. I wanted to resign here, but I played on for a couple of more moves. Bishop takes c4, bishop takes c6, uh, b5 here, trying to save my position. Uh, yeah, so rook takes a7, rook to d8, uh, rook to a8, exchanging the rooks and winning. Uh, here I, I can't really do anything if I if I play rook to c8 in this position and he takes on a7, then I can't take the bishop because of the checkmate, so I can't really save my pawn. So after b5, rook takes a7, rook to d8, uh, simply rook to a8. He calculated correctly that the end game is winning. So rook a8, bishop a8, bishop takes a2. This is just winning for black because he can march up the board, win my pawn and win the position. So bishop to c6. I don't really have time for this, for, for bishop to c4 because he can win the pawn anyway. I have to try and march my king up the board to, to save myself. So king f8, uh, king d4, king to e7, bishop takes b5, king to d8, bishop to c4. I can't exchange the bishops, of course, the pawn endgame is busted, so bishop to b1, and here I resigned with my own move. I didn't want to play this any further. There's no way to save the, this position, even though uh, bishops of the same color are sometimes, uh, well, you can sometimes draw being a pawn down, but this position always favors the side on the attack, and you can see that my king is on the 8th rank, his king is in the perfect position on the, in the middle of the board and all of his pawns are on dark squares so I can't really attack them he can attack my uh, age uh, 7 pawn so just losing okay let's turn on the engine now okay d4 d5 c4 c6 this is all okay after queen to c2 d4 is the best move which I know e6 is okay after g3 yeah now I pretty much have to take let's see whether g6 is okay g6 is also okay no it's not why hmm okay perhaps i was wrong after g3 knight b to d7 is a slight advantage for white bishop g2 bishop e7 is correct so okay g6 bishop to g7 wouldn't work here okay let's see once more g6 castles bishop to g7 why is this so much better bishop f5 if i castle here he has more than one point advantage. Well, I guess my dark squares are too weak. So after bishop to g2, bishop to e7 was actually correct. Castles, castles, knight b to d2. Rook to e8, a horrible mistake allowing e4. I should have seized the moment to play c5 here. And after dc5, knight c5. b4, knight here. Yeah, 
okay, so yeah, just a bad decision not to play c5 when I had the time and I, I saw c5 of course. I wanted to play e5 actually for some reason. But now e4, d takes e4, knight takes e4, knight takes e4, queen takes e4, e5 now, why e5, knight takes, knight takes, pawn takes, bishop here, bishop here, I'm just a pawn down, why would I want to play this position, okay, my bishop is developed, so I guess it's much better to be a pawn down with an active piece than equal on pawns with a dead piece. A logical uh, decision by the engine. So after queen takes e4, I played bishop to f6, which is plus one for white. Ugh. Knight e5. c5, once again, uh, I should have played this, but I didn't. But I, I, I didn't understand the position after this. Knight takes, queen takes, and pawn takes here. Once again, I'm giving up a pawn, so I don't see the point of that, and it's plus one and a half, so... Okay, knight to e5, knight to f8, ah, equally bad. Bishop e3, bishop to d7, rook f to d1, knight to g6, bad. f4, queen to c7, rook ac1, rook a to d8, b4, oh, my position is so bad. I, I can't do anything. I felt so hopeless and powerless during the game. I just can't do anything. So bishop takes e5, another mistake. I should have played bishop to e7. So what? After bishop to e7, knight takes, pawn takes, c5. I'm still dead. b4, bishop takes e5, d takes e5, b6 is correct. Uh, rook to d4, knight e7, my only chance in the position. c5 here, yeah, killing my bishop completely. Rook to d3 though. Uh, Bishop to c8, rook c to d1, rook takes, ah, queen takes, bishop a6. Yeah, my, my position is just lost. Let's just see this move. Uh, wait, uh, knight to d5. If he plays bishop to d2, then I put my knight back, which is too passive. Let's say he plays a3, then c5, pawn here. Don't I just lose a piece? Oh yeah, I don't because I can interpose this. This is actually a good position now. Finally, a playable position at least. I still, well, I'm not losing a pawn at least after queen to a8. <clears throat> I, this is actually playable. I mean, it's better for white, it's plus one, but perhaps I could have held the draw in this position. So yeah, uh, definitely after king to f2, knight to d5 was a better try than knight to f5 would I played. This just allows this winning combination for him. Yeah, no point in looking at this any further. Uh, so yeah, just, just a horrible game. I mean, I, I played, I think, below my level. I And I, I was aware of that during the game and... I just gave him too easy a task in defeating me, which is bad. I, I should have I should have been braver braver and played something I intuitively wanted to play instead of following some opening principles. So yeah, uh, lessons to be learned from this game. Uh, if you know something is theoretical and you can't really enter it comfortably in a position, try to adapt yourself to the position and play what you know is better, which I should have done in this game. Okay, uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope you got to learn something from this game. If you play the semi-slab with black after queen to c2, be aware of this uh, sort of Catalan positions with bishop uh, g2. And yeah, uh, final round I'm going to cover tomorrow, the round uh, 9 game. And uh, thanks very much. Stay tuned for more chess and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.